Alright guys, I will be showing you how to put custom firmware on your PSP. First of all, you need two things. You need a Pandora battery, which is this right here, and you need what's called a magic memory stick, which is this. All you really need is a 2 gig or a 4 gig and it's good. So what what you want to do is um, buy a Pandora battery. It's much much easier than making it by hard modding because hard modding is yeah it's too um, it, it's hard when you don't really need to do it. You can get these from DealExtreme.com. That's DealExtreme.com. So you can go there and get it for like sixteen dollars or whatever. So all right. What you need to do is turn your regular memory stick into a magic memory stick. And I will show you right now how to do that. Now, first, here is my system information. 4.01. Now, what you want to do is download a program called Rain MMS Maker. You can Google it, put it on YouTube you know you'll get them you, you, you'll get it quick go to your computer and look once you've downloaded rain MMS maker open it up where is it give me like a minute to find it Now, what's one thing? One thing you really have to remember is right-click the file and run it as administrator, because if you don't do it, your memory stick will not work. So when you when you lo when you open up the Rain MMS Maker, right-click it and run it as administrator. Now, what you want to do is download something called a 4.0 eboot or you you can just google it and it pop, and it comes up fast then what you do is load it into the um MMS maker just locate it and and load it which is where is it There it is. No, that's not it. There it is. Now, when it says, it should say 4.01 loaded. That's how you know you did it right. Now, if you if you connected a fat PSP, you have to enable this over here, 1.50 kernel add-on installer. But I'm using a slim, so I don't have to do that. Now, put your PSP in USB mode like so and pretty much all you need to do if you're using a fat I mean if you're using a slim PSP you don't have to do anything else but just click OK click make MMS and that's what should come up just let it load, it'll take a minute
Yeah, when it extracts the despertad, the cementerio, that's the biggest file. So it's going to take a minute to extract. And when it's done, just click finish. Now, that's all you needed to do, and you now have a magic memory stick. Just close that down. Pretty much, it's easy from here. You just insert the battery. Turn off your PSP. Take out your magic memory stick and reinsert it. And then plug in your Pandora battery. But remember to hold the left the left um trigger, the left um button. Just give it a minute. And that screen should come up. Now, since we already have um, 4.01 official firmware, we can go ahead and install the M33. But if you don't have 4.01 official firmware, it's a good idea to downgrade it first to 4.01 before you um put mp3 on it now one thing you want to remember is that i'm using an old version of mms maker so it's just gonna up it's gonna um update me to 4.01 and from there you can just use network update so i'll show you that now Now I what I always do I reboot it. I mean I don't I, I shut it down. So I press circle. And there you have it. Now you have custom firmware. Now if you wanna learn how to put ROMs or install emulators, just watch my other videos because I will be posting videos on how to do that.